Durant yet. Like, Kevin Durant will – he's an addition to something that I already know is going to be there. How can you not – say that they're the favorite. I understand that you could say they could be beaten this way, but they have to be the favorite, and they have to be... They don't have to be the favorite. The Cavaliers have to be the favorite. They're in the, the Western, in the Western Conference, Conference, they have to be the best team. You keep putting two yeah. teams over them all the time. Here's a question. Ask Inside, presented by Metro PCS. Did the Warriors win over the Clippers and press the Chuckster? Yes, it did, because uh, the Clippers... The Warriors knew it was an important game, because we talked about it before the show... Everybody who tell you they play hard for 82 games, that's just BS. There are certain games you mark on the schedule, okay, 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 and it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a measuring stick. And for the Clippers to come out and play like dogs last night, not, and, and uh, Mar Marcellus Wiley, who's a big Clippers fan, says something very interesting, and I 100% agree with him. He says, We've, we, we, beat the, we beat the Spurs, we beat the Cavaliers, we don't have to beat the Warriors, but we got to let them know they've been in a dogfight. And let me tell you something, they wasn't in no dogfight. They just got punked. Let's, uh, let's check in with uh, Area 21, uh, where Kevin Garnett is. Uh, He's not even the best player in Area 21 tonight. He shouldn't no, say anything. Candace Parker, his special Hold guest. Hold on, Chuck. Slow tonight. down, Chuck. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> We're getting to pump the brakes there, KG. Dang. Hey, Chuck, slow down. Coming at man. you already, man. Man. Any, any need, doubt? You, in, you might need a nap right now, right? Uh, yeah. Any doubt in y'all's mind who the best team in the West is right now? No. I look, you know. Oh, okay. Right. Um, I, I think without a doubt right. it's the Warriors. Uh, everything goes to the Warriors. I think even just across the NBA, I think the, the Warriors are the favorite. They've added a all-star. Right. Firepower. A firepower to, to their team already. MVP. That was already great. Right. And so I think... Uh, the Warriors are the favorites. I'm, I'm, I'm piggybacking what Kenny said, a, a, a well-oiled machine <clears throat> with new artillery, if not a bigger gun. You have, to, you have to say that they are the favorite in the West until they've been defeated. Well, I, I do like the shirt, the real CP3 back there. Right. I, 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 you know, I, I'm, really? I'm appreciative Shout of that. Uh, but you know what? And I want to ask you this, KG, because we were talking about it earlier with Rondo. Um, you obviously played with him, and then, you know, he has the suspension. He's been yeah. one of my favorite players since he's gotten to the league. But I always said that he has to learn to be, have emotion but not be emotional. He has to, he has to push himself to be a better professional. I give him that. Um, uh, I said this earlier that I don't, I don't give any, other, any player any excuses when it comes to being uh, detrimental to the team or conduct or whatever it is. Uh, this is Rondo's first year there. I know him personally, and anybody that's played with him knows that trust is huge with him. Uh, I don't know the circumstances, nor do I know what happened, but I do know that if you come off and you say something that is uh, detrimental to someone or if you don't know their character, then things can be misconstrued, misinterpreted, uh, miscommunicated, however. Uh, obviously, the history is here. You can point at it. I'm not giving him no excuses. He has to be better. But at the same time, you have to understand who you're dealing with uh, and uh, understand that history. So. Like I said, I don't know none of this. And when it comes to players being detrimental to, to the team, it's about the team, nothing else. No single player over, over no team. So with that, he has to be better. Uh, with that, you have to understand what you're dealing with, too. Doe is a fiery competitor. He loves, he loves the game. He hates losing with a passion. And if you're not putting in what he's putting in, then he has a problem with that. And, you know, he'll come off and say it to you. But... It doesn't take away from who he is because he's a great facilitator. He's a great player, has a great IQ. And uh, I just don't want these things that obviously have, have, have uh, shadowed him over these years to overshadow the goodness and the bigger parts of who he really is and his greatness. That's all I'm talking about. KG, he was a big part of what you guys did uh, in Boston with the yeah. Big Three. When he went to Dallas, things didn't uh, really pan out too well. Sacramento had some problems. Right. So now when he, he causes this trouble in, in, in Chicago, people believe that he's a troublemaker. Explain to Chuck and Kenny that he's not really a troublemaker. He's a passionate guy. He's not a troublemaker. And what I, and what I mean by I elaborate a little bit on what I'm saying is, you know, after a loss, uh, different guys digest the loss differently. And I'm just being honest here. Some guys can laugh it off or shower it off and 10 to 15 minutes is over. Some of us take it home with us and we watch film or if we have a driver and, you know, now we have DVDs in the car, you can sit here and watch the game. 
Dude takes a lot of losing hard. Now, like I said, I don't know this story, nor am I defending Rondo. I'm, I'm, I'm defending uh, his character, who he, who he is. Uh, history shows he's had mishaps to where you can go here, you can say and nitpick, and, you know, it's what it is. That was a fact. Well, you know, my question is, you got a special guest in the studio. You gonna let her talk to that, or you just gonna well, keep yapping Shaq, the whole show? Shaq asked me a question, Chuck. Thank you, Kendrick. So well, I do have one for Candace. I got one for Candace I, because I, I thought this year, you know, this this. You're gonna year, let Chuck ask a question? No, no, no. I'm not talking. Because he doesn't know. I, I was. Going, I, no, I just felt that. No, I'm, I'm gonna say about Candace. I thought that this year, it was unfortunate she wasn't on the Olympic team. And there was a supposed rift between you and coach. So how did you handle that when you your Olympic kind of spat? Mm. That was something that Rondo's kind of going through right now. Mm. Well, coach and I never had any encounter or any words or exchange any bad, I would say, dialogue. conversations. Or so dialogue. how does the best woman basketball player on the planet not be on the Olympic team? <laughs> I mean, it's it's uh, there's a lot more that goes into it. Right. Uh, I didn't understand it either, but it's something that it happened, and it's something that I had to deal with and move on. And honestly, I believe everything happens for a reason. And I was able to kind of focus on what I really wanted, and that's a WNBA championship. Mm. I don't think the reason why we won was because of that, but I think it was a lot, it allowed me to have tunnel vision, get my body healthy, spend more time with my daughter, right. um, be at home and and uh, and be a noisy neighbor to you. <laughs> Kenny and uh, turn down the music. Yeah, you you were the one calling the police. I know that was you. So you turning up over I there? Know that was you. All right, all right. Hey, turn up in the valley, huh? Hey KG, shut the hell up so I can ask you a question. Uh, so can I talk to you like I that? Thought you were, hey, I thought hey, you were asleep, hey, Chuck. Hey, hey, My bad. This. It's an early night tonight. Not a double overtime game. Hey, Candice, you, you you lost one of the most important people in your life this year in Coach Summit. What was the biggest thing that she gave you? number one, for confidence, but just helping you become one of the greatest players ever. Honestly, there's so many things that go through my mind and what coach taught me, and I think that this year just epitomized her teaching to me. I mean, everything that I went through this year and was able to kind of overcome was because of her. Mm. Uh, I was telling KG earlier, coach was one that didn't just talk the talk, she walked the talk. Right. And you meet very few people in life that do that through the good and the bad. And when she was at her worst, she still had a positive attitude and really believed that everything happened for a reason. And it's not what happens to you, it's how you react to it. And that's the biggest message in my life is things are going to happen. You're going to have obstacles, but it's how, how do you deal with it? Right. No cuss hey, hey, button uh, hey, Kevin, There was uh, no cuss button tonight. Uh, no, Kevin, one more thing for you. How many of the different uh, styles of pants you had those skinny jeans in? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> there it is. 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 Oh. Wow, what's up? You want a pair? Oh, Did here's, you have to wear here. pants too? Here's Max. Oh, oh. Kevin, somebody oh. coming at you hard. Oh. So you got the skinny oh. jeans cracking right now. I like your skinny jeans. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate don't let it. Tell you. you know what? Chuck is a hater. You know, he don't understand fashion. It's all good. Wait, you got the, did you see that tweet right there? That what dude tweet? was like 72 years old tweeted. Right, that. I don't read tweets. I'm good. No, you got to see this tweet, KG. It's cool Mac, for Mac, Mac don't even put his own picture on his own tweet, so we know Mac don't want to be known. Come on. Too old for skinny jeans, big ticket. I ain't too Mac old. Love him. I ain't too old to do shit, homie. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, gotta know. You, you gotta know when to reach yeah, for that. Yeah, I messed that one up. So what? I messed that one up. Yeah, it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta fix that thing. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Uh, I what? love it. Too old to wear skitties. Yeah, ain't too old to do nothing. Oh, what? Right. Yeah. Champions hey. night. Sugar honey Area iced tea. 21. That's what he said. Uh, <laughs> he said sugar oh, honey iced tea. Indeed. Oh, my uh, God. All right, y'all. He missed the cuts button. We're going to take, take a break. I ain't going to motherfucker that <laughs> When we come back, second best uh, record in the East uh, <laughs> belongs to the Toronto Raptors. Uh, Highlights of Minnesota's visit to Air Canada Center. Oh my goodness. Not only costs us $500, but the F, what is the FG? FCC. 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 FDA. $2,500. Yeah. <laughs> the FCC is 